to look at is we're going to look at the harder part of composite functions, which says I give you f of x equals x squared plus 9, g of x equals 3x plus 1. Okay, let's say it gives me something like this. Now, what you guys have done before is you've seen f of, f of 3 equals, and then we figure it out. When I'm trying to figure this out, I just plug in whatever's in this box right here, in the parentheses, for what was in the function rule up, up above. So I'm going to say 3 squared plus 9, which gives me 9 plus 9, which gives me 18. You're doing the same thing if I tell you f of g of x. This means that instead of this right here, you're going to plug in whatever g was. So this is the same thing as saying f of 3x plus 1 because that's what, that's what g of x is, okay? So I just took out of the g of x and I replaced it with what g of x is. That means instead of x in this function roll up here, I'm going to put 3x plus 1. So I'm going to put 3x plus 1 squared plus 9. 3x plus 1 squared means 3x plus 1 times 3x plus 1. This is where most of you guys make your mistakes because you just do 3x squared plus 1 squared. That's wrong. That's devil math. Don't do that. So I'm going to rewrite it twice. I still have the plus 9. Now I'm going to distribute, which is the same thing as foiling in this case. So I'm going to do 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times 1 is 3x. 1 times 3x is 3x. And 1 times 1 is 1. Combine like terms. So this is going to become 9x squared plus 6x plus 10. This is equal to what I started with, f of g of x. And that's it. That's all that you're really doing on this, guys. Okay? Now, the answer is going to change if you switch the order of them. So, this isn't the same thing as multiplication, where 3 times 4 is the same thing as 4 times 3. When you're doing this, this is an of situation. Of situations are different if you switch the order. So for this one, I'm going to take whatever f of x is, and I'm going to plug it in. So this is the same thing as g of f of x is x squared plus 9. g of x is right here. So 3 parentheses, x squared plus 9, plus 1. Now I'm going to distribute. So this gives me 3x squared plus 27, plus 1. 3x squared plus 28. This is obviously a lot different from the last one that I got. So don't just say, oh, it's the same one he already asked me for when I switch the order. Because I will do that to you guys on the test, for sure. I will give you f of g of x and I will give you g of f of x. So don't just say, it's going to give me the same answer. You need to go through the process on both of them. You guys understand? Yeah? Okay, so now, how do we make it more difficult? We put a value in there. We say g of f of 3. So what we're doing here is we're replacing the x with a 3. Well, we already know what g of f of x is. So g of f of 3 is replacing the x in this equation with 3. 3 squared, 9 times 3, 27, plus 28 is 54. 55, just kidding. So that's all that you have to do on that one, equals 55. Now how do I make it really, really hard? I give you a lot of function rules and I make you do them all together. So then I tell you h of x is this, i of x is this, and then I tell you to find g of f of h of i of f of 4. And you just got to go through the process.